Congenital cholesteatoma is a very uncommon situation. And this is a situation where cholesteatoma arises in the middle ear without any involvement of the tympanic membrane. So somewhere in the development of the fetus, squamous epithelium or skin cells get entrapped in the middle ear. During fetal growth and postnatally after birth, this, these skin cells continue to divide and produce even more keratin or dead skin. And as this dead skin accumulates, it grows like an onion in the middle ear. As it grows, it can cause impairment of the bones behind the eardrum and cause a hearing loss. It can also invade into the facial nerve, and it can also invade into the dura, or the tough covering that protects the brain. In a situation where there's a cholesteatoma, especially a congenital cholesteatoma, an astute pediatrician will examine the eardrum, and behind the eardrum, he will see a white mass. And the white mass represents the cholesteatoma.